Here we have a sun and planet gear arrangement. This is part of the mechanism used in the James Watt steam engine. Um, there's a problem on the James Watt steam engine where we are asked to determine the degrees of freedom of the mechanism, the mobility of the mechanism. And this problem is given in uh, Design of Machinery, an introduction to the synthesis and analysis of mechanisms and machines. And this is a, a book by Norton, um, by McGraw-Hill. And problem 29 in the second chapter asks us to determine the mobility of the um, a particular mechanism that uses this sun and planet gear arrangement. And so what we see here is that in red we have a sun and in blue um, that is the planet gear. And as we see the planet gear is revolving around um, the sun gear. And I just want to talk a little bit about the joints that we have here, the joints and the links that we have in this mechanism, um, because there are some interesting um, things going on in terms of half joints and whatnot. So the first thing that we'll focus on is, of course, um, kind of the motion, what, what we see happening. And here we see the blue gear. Um, it's rigidly attached to the pink link. Um, that pink arm, I guess, or purple arm that goes up to the gray piston. Um, there's a rigid attachment between the purple or, or pink link and the blue gear. So that's going to be one link um, by itself. And we also see that there's a, a yellow a revolute joint there at the center where we have the red um, sun revolving or turning right there. It's turning on a yellow um, revolute joint. We also see a revolute joint up where the purple arm meets the piston. Um, there's a dark circle there, and that's also a revolute joint. We see that the piston goes up and down, and that would be a prismatic joint um, right there where the piston meets whatever side wall would be there, and that's not shown. It's just kind of on a white background here. Um, now, the pink, or the, the I guess the purple link, when it comes down and meets the blue planet gear, um, that pink circle in the center is a pin and it's riding in a slot and so that creates a roll slide joint um, and that would be a half joint at that location um, where the gear teeth meet that's like a link on a plane um, that's also roll slide and so generally where we have two gears meeting that will also be a half joint um, so if we go ahead and count everything up we can let's start with the links um, we have a ground link we have a um, red gear that's there turning. That's another link. We have the blue and purple together. That's a third link. And we have the uh, piston moving up and down. That would be a fourth link. So we have four links in this particular uh, diagram. Now we turn our attention to the joints. And let's look at the full joints. And we talked about them. We have a revolute joint at the center of the red gear. We have a... Um, revolute joint where the purple link meets the gray piston and we also have a prismatic or another full joint where the piston moves up and down and so we have three full joints if we look at half joints we have a half joint where the two gears meet and we have a half joint where the uh, pink pin rides in the green slot and so that's a two half joints and so if we use Grubler's equation on this, we have 3 times the quantity 4 minus 1 for 4 links, minus 2 times 3 for 3 full joints, minus 2 for half joints. And so what we end up with is 9 minus 6 minus 2, or 9 minus 8, or 1 degree of freedom for this system. And so this is a 1 degree of freedom sun planet gear arrangement.